you have plenty of photos and you don't want to waste time in PowerPoint to edit them all to be equal, I'll show you two cool ways how you can solve that problem in a few minutes. Hello there, this lesson will be more of a quick tip than a design lesson because I want to show you here how to process multiple photographs. So I want to show you two ways of working with photographs, which I believe are the best. Select all photographs you have, and this will be option number one. Once you have all photographs selected by clicking Ctrl A or just clicking and dragging like that, you have picture layout. You can click on picture layout and selecting one of those layouts, as you can see, will give me equalized photographs. Now, this layout is one big group. With what you can do, you can click on convert, convert to shapes, then you have shapes. Once again, right click, group, ungroup, and you have the photos separately. The problem here is that we remain with those, those borders and those objects here, but if I delete everything, well, it's, it's kind of hard to delete, but if you aim right, you can delete everything and you have equal photos all over the presentation. Now, this will be a lot easier to work. If something is misplaced, just click on the photograph, go to picture tools, format, you have the crop options and the photo remains still as it was, it's just resized. For example, I wanted this guy to be more in the middle, I wanted this to be a bit higher, no problem, quick resizing, but everything is perfectly aligned. This would be option number one. Option number two, I would call it maybe a bit more advanced, but we can select placeholders for our images. What is a placeholder? Those are placeholders, meaning those are things when we drag something in, it will automatically snap. So I could do it like that. I could go to view, slide master. Well, if you are not familiar what slide master is, it's a separate topic for itself. I won't cover that here. I have that covered in my courses, but I can also answer you. And I would just select right click, insert layout. I would select an empty layout and I would insert several placeholders. I would click like that, picture, picture, control C, control V, control C, control V, control C, control V. Okay, four pictures, four of them are too big. I would make them smaller. Well, I won't go into the details how to make them perfectly aligned. I could, for example, align and distribute them horizontally to make those spaces equal between them. Control C, control V. Okay, eight pictures, that's enough. Slide master, close. Once I am on the slide, I can right click and select one of the PowerPoint layouts. And one of those layouts is the new layout I have. Now look what happens. We have perfect picture placeholders and I don't have to do anything. I don't have to edit the photographs. I just boom, drag and drop them. One is left, boom, it's perfectly snapped into those objects. So this is, I wanted to say one, but these are two ways of working with photographs. When you have many photographs, you need to edit them in bulk at once. So remember, the first way to work multiple photographs is to use the picture layout. And the second one is to use placeholders from Slide Master. This is it. This is how you work with multiple photographs. I hope this is very helpful to you.